गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ यू आई विश यू ऑल आर वेल सो प्लस टू क्लास वी हैव टू स्टार्ट समथिंग न्यू दैट इज ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन सो वी हैव लेफ्ट सम टॉपिक्स इन फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ अ सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दैट चैप्टर इज पार्थेनोजेनेसिस वट इज पार्थेनोजेनेसिस पार्थेनोजेनेसिस इज अ वर्जिन बर्थ दैट मीन्स देर इज अ नो टू पेरेंट इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन दिस प्रोसेस दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड वर्जिन बर्थ ओनली सिंगल पेरेंट रिप्रोड्यूस और प्रोड्यूस अ न्यू ऑर्गेनिजम सो हेयर वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ पार्थेनोजेनेसिस द फर्स्ट टाइप इज नेचुरल पार्थेनोजेनेसिस एंड सेकेंड इज आर्टिफिशियल पार्थेनोजेनेसिस द नेचुरल पार्थोजेनेसिस वट इज नेचुरल इन नेचुरल पार्थेनोजेनेसिस द होल life cycle of an organism is include this type of process that means the process in is in whole life cycle of that organism so if we take an example of that type of reproduction so there is honey bee there are three members of honey bee family first is a queen bee second is a a fertile female and a fertile drones sorry infertile female and fertile drones so in this family honey bee family it produces two type of eggs fertile eggs and infertile eggs if fertile egg a larva fed on a royal fluid what is a royal fluid royal fluid is a special type of secretion that is produced by male of that family so that family male workers produce a special type of secretion that is called a uh, royal fluid the egg that feed fed on royal fluid they become queen bee okay and if they fed on a bee bread what is bee bread bee bread is a mixture of pollen and nectar if the infertile egg fertile egg fed on that bee bread they produce workers workers are these fam the worker of these families are infertile female first is a queen bee that fed on royal fluid second is a workers that fed on bread b bread so third type of in this family are drone drone fed upon whatever they have nectar or pollen or whatever they have but they are infertile egg of this family infertile egg of this family reproduce into drone so there are three types of member first queen bee second workers and drones so it is a natural whole natural process that is a part of life cycle of that that organism second is a artificial in this the whole organisms are sexually organism they are sexual organism they have male as well as female in their family but we have to reproduce some kind of organism that resemble that organism or uh, the character similar to that organism so we artificially inseminate the fertile ovum into the female we took a fertile ovum from one female and introduced into the other female that is a artificial parthenogenesis process so in this we have indian snake a smaller snake of the india which is reproduced by this process and a rock lizard is also an example of this process so there are some advantages of this process we know uh, every process has some advantage and disadvantages so in this process the advantages are it is very rapid reproduction that means we can produce a multiple organism and very fast so it is a very good thing for that organism or for us if we need a useful organism useful product from that organism so second is there is no chance of lose of any information in combination because in uh, sexual reproduction there are combinations of genes combination of their chromosome but there is no combination so no more lose of that information and there is some disadvantages of that thing the very very much bigger disadvantage that there is stop of recombination we can't get a new organism from this process okay if we can't get the new organism that means there is no chance of adaptation that means if we uh, continue this process in a such organism that organism can go to extinction so there are some advantages and disadvantages of this process hope you understand hope you like it uh, unless i will send you a written notes for this so you can watch this video and go through that notes and uh, good luck thank you